This week, we begin the portion of Vayikra, the book of Leviticus. The first portion of Leviticus is the beginning of a child's learning. When a child is taken to, to Cheder, to school, at age three, the child is sat down and is taught the Pasuk Adam Ki Yakriv Mikem Korban La Hashem, when a person will offer from themselves a sacrifice to God from the cows, the sheep, the goats, etc. Question is asked, why start there? Why not start at Brashis, right at the beginning? Medrash Rabbah comments that just as these small children are taher, are pure souls, so too the karbanas, the sacrifices which were brought, were also taher. This warrants explanation. The concept of karbanas, of sacrifices, was already prior to the giving of the Torah. We see, for example, that Cain and Abel offered sacrifices. That's written in the Chumash. Adam is said to have offered sacrifices. That's brought down in the commentaries. Noah was told to bring animals into the boat, two by two of the animals that were not Tahar, not fit to bring to be brought for a sacrifice, and seven of those that were. So we see that the idea of purity and sacrifices was even before the giving of the Torah, before the laws of the sacrifices took place. Just as it is with a three-year-old, not only is a three-year-old not obligated to doing mitzvahs, that doesn't start until 13, but really a three-year-old is not of the age of education as far as Chumash goes. As the Perkei Avos suggests that a child should start learning, Chumash should start learning verses when they are five. So we see, but because there is no limitation of the laws and requirements and details involved with the sacrifices as before the giving of the Torah, so it is with a child before they reach these ages of limitations of having to do the commandments. And what do we teach them? We teach them about purity. This is the way it's supposed to be for our entire lives, that our focus should be on attaining that purity. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.